We'll, we'll transition into the fights Dana announced after UFC 300. We got Connor and Chandler. We all knew that fight was going to happen, but now it's official International Fight Week. Connor McGregor is. He's still, you know, the biggest star MMA's ever had. He's doing movies. Which did you guys watch Roadhouse? I did. Yeah. What did you guys What did you guys think of it? I liked it. <laughs> it was like an Academy Award movie. Yeah, yeah. You watched for what it is. Yeah, it was just like you know, like a Fast and the Furious movie. It yeah. Like, yeah, it was a good. It was good action. It was yeah, good action. That was cool. And I thought that Connor's character was the best. Himself. Part of the movie. <laughs> he was the best part of the movie. Anytime he was on the screen, it was fun. It was like. Yeah, he's not going to be, like, yeah. you know, on Schindler's List or, like, a good, <laughs> a good movie, but it was his character was basically, you said. Yeah, life. yeah, exactly. And I think it, it's interesting, this Chandler fight. You know, Chandler, he lost to Poirier, and then before that, he just heel-kicked Ferguson to yeah. wherever he is now. <laughs> that, but I think that's, a, that's an interesting fight. I think the question marks everyone's wondering is, How's Connor gonna look? He hasn't fought in three years. He has that leg injury, which is really hard to come back from. And we've seen Silva come back from a silver leg injury. Chris Weidman, he came back from that this year. So with that leg injury, do you think how, do you think Connor's gonna look sharp, or do you think he's gonna look a little rusty when he comes back? It's been so much time that I think it's been he's had plenty of time to heal and and train, and you know, ring rust is the only thing I could think of. But you know. Chandler's the type of forward pressured fire fighter that yeah. I don't think there's going to be any like feeling out. I think it's just going to be going at it, and at that point, there's no ring rust. It's just let's bang. And, exactly. Uh, you know, I can kind of Connor stand, so <laughs> you know, I think he's going to probably win that fight. But I, again, I'm very biased. I think it's going to be a crazy brawl, and I think he's going to catch him with one of those left hands that. And uh, put him out. And I wonder if he's kicking, kickboxing, because that's what Prime McGregor was really known for was those spinning kicks. Yeah, but like they'll teams. be fighting at 170. Not 185. Connor was saying, "Oh, 185." Like, <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen, dude. Yeah, yeah. I think he was just joking. <laughs> yeah, I think he was trolling. He was like doing that whole like you'll do what you're told kind of thing. Like, I thought it was serious for a second there, though. Yeah, he like, like 185. Like 185. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's jacked. He was walking around at like 195, yeah. recovering for the this injury and I think it's it, obviously it's must see TV as Chandler you talk about the heel kick he doesn't really do cap kicks though so mm -hmm. maybe something force you would be smart to target in the game and talk about like why that hurts so bad when oh, you kick right here but it would be he's got that metal to, leg now yeah, though you gotta be careful <laughs> but Chandler's gonna brawl you yeah yeah those calf kicks are uh, definitely a new part of the game and uh, I've been I've fallen victim to them unfortunately uh, one of my fights, I've got. I didn't get finished with them, but I got dropped with them pretty hard. And it's just sneaky, right? It is, and they add up. It's know? like a Charlie um, Horse on your calf where you just can't stand anymore. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I fought actually a man who knows wrestling coach, and uh, oh, he's uh, also like a pro boxer. He's very well rounded, um, and he was just throughout the fight landing these calf kicks, which are odd because this is the first time I've fought someone shorter than me. It was like an inch or two shorter than me, which is odd. I've never had that. <laughs> People can't typically kick very well on me because I am shorter than them and I get the takedown kind of because that leg, they're basically giving me a takedown of him. Since he's a little bit shorter, not only could he kick me and be effective because he's a bit wrestler, but he was landing a calf kick on me, which is, you know, if I stand up, it's a little weird to think that someone can get underneath a calf. And he was just landing it throughout the fight and uh and the third round you know one landed and it was just like oh i can't put my weight on this <laughs> and then i was trying to stand out and i couldn't there was only like you know 40 seconds left of the fight but oh, i couldn't get back up on it talk to me baby talk to me talk to me talk to me nice i'm from another world baby yeah right away paradise they think i'm way too cold because i put my heart